Time to slay, except now. Complete your conversation and hit escape. Okay, let's see. Complete. And then escape. To the hunting grounds, except. Okay. Be sure to bring. Oh, okay. Press escape to. Okay, so we're gonna hit escape, open the main menu. We're gonna go to the hunt type, match with five other slayers. We'll be back. Okay, we've made it to the hunting ground. They said we were matching with other slayers, so we should have some teammates here. I went with the axe, by the way. GOV has invited me to a party. Okay. Uh, zero. Zero. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Geo Vivo. I don't know who Geo Vivo is. Oh, he's up there. Oh. Accept party invite. Oh. Oh. It's like, hey, are you sure you want to let this buy? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Did my ship free? Okay. Unmute, remain muted. I don't want to talk to nobody. I'm streaming. I'm streaming right now. There's some plants there. Oh, okay. I see the creature's up right now. He's 200 meters up ahead. Can I run faster? No, it doesn't look like it. I got a hold shift to run. Oh, I see it. Here we go. Who wants some of this? Ooh. Get him with it. Hit him with it. Oh, he's dead. Oh, okay. In Slayer Path node ready to unlock. What's this? What's this do? Unlock the Boreal Outpost? Let's unlock this. Hunter Crafter. So, weaponsmithing? Charter route to the icy fields of Boreal Outpost. Probably that, right? This one too, right? Uh, I'm going to come back to that because I think there's still stuff going on. Yeah, we got to go 200 meters this way. Well, it's like a... It's like a third person perspective. Third person camera perspective of... Uh, feels like Lost Ark, to be honest. It's like a Fortnite version. Come back here. Boom! You don't like that, do ya? Uh, uh. <laughs> I wish he would stay in front of me. I think he's lagging. One, two, three, go! Did he die? Oh, he died. Okay. There's something here. Oh, this is like crafting. So and so left the party. Is that it? Oh no, there's another guy here. Do they just. I think they may just keep spawning. I think we're just farming. That's what it looks like. Q. Get over here. Q. Boom. I wish I could aim better. One, two, three. Boom.
One, two, three, boom! Come back to me. Oh man, I gotta get better at aiming that. Did he die? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I like this axe. I just gotta pay attention to the top left. We got the uh, Q button being displayed there. It kind of tells me when my throwing axe is ready again. We can level up now. We got another one of those behemoths spawning over here. I feel like my weapon is glowing. I think that's the visual indicator that the throw is ready. Beautiful, beautiful. Two, three, boom. Oh, oh, that was a big hit. One, two, three, boom. One, two, ah, uh, uh. Okay, running back the other way. Because I'm pretty sure he's dead now, right? Look at the weapon, it's surging with energy. Do I have mocos? I hope I don't have mocos. I'm starting to get gray hairs in my nose, right? So, sometimes it looks like I got boogers. And I don't even really have boogers. It's just the gray hairs. <laughs> Yeah! Ooh, I love the big numbers. Oh, I missed. So the right click is more of a, like, you can move around. Well, no, only for the first shard. Oh, he got lucky. Ow. Ow. Hi uh, yeah. Ow. Oh, I'm getting hurt here. How do I heal? I might have to leave to heal? Hunting grounds. Oh, return to Ramsgate H. Ramsgate? Okay, so uh, I think we killed him uh, probably the first time we killed him. We probably got credit for it. But I kept going, I kept on killing him, and I guess you can keep getting XP and farming materials from him if you do that. We'll see what turning it in looks like. Okay, we're here where Ramsgate is. Look who has returned. Wills Borman. Most egregious greetings, friend Slayer. Wills is very happy to see you. Our friend Trainer Ross sent word your arrival was imminent. Let us see how the Borman Smithy can help you, shall we? To the hunting grounds. Trainer Ross wants you to slay a lesser Embermane. Oh, that's what we just did. Okay, done. Alright, main quest completed. Done with that. See everything's eye in the window. Okay. Alright, let's go. Wills can forge your weapons using trophies taken from your fearsome quarry. Find weapons of classic Ostian design that possess the power of behemoths themselves. But first, you must prove you're ready. Complete the conversation. Press it. Okay. Oh, oh, this is for... I got a weaponsmith. So you have to weaponsmith. All right. As a slayer, you're going to be called upon to build weapons from the Aether, capturing behemoths from the defeat. So this is like core fundamental mechanics here. Here's weapons where you smell. Okay. 
And it looks like you got him that goes into all of these. So basically, he he specializes in melee weapons. Um, Admiral Zai is firearms. And fist weapons is the scarred master. The fist weapons did seem pretty cool. I like how fast they are. Like, tuk, 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 tuk. But the uh, charge-up axe is pretty OP as well. I, I really enjoy the charge-up axe. I imagine you're probably going to only want to specialize into one of those, though. I think the charge-up axe. Let's do the charge-up axe. Alright. Oh, I don't have to do anything. Okay, done. Ah, yes! Wills can see you're prepared to join a journey of dif discovery on the Austin Weaponsmithing Technique Slayer. Now, let's discuss what exactly we'll be smithing. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your patronage. You're welcome. Alright, lock, load, and repeat. You help, Wills. Wills Except you. from the embers. Uh, Wills thinks you've been hunting the ember main. And Wills just happens to have the schematic. He's Wills, right? Yeah, he's referring to himself in third person, which is a little confusing. Turning your mermaid trophies into Aether Forge, Austin, Austin designed and expertly crafted Slayer weapons. If you have the parts, Wills can make it so. Well, my Focus your attacks on the leg, head, or tail to break it. Oh, you're supposed to try to chip stuff off of it. All parts you break will be collected when the behemoth is slain. Smiths like Wills and Moira, Moira can help turn those parts into weapons and armor. Okay. And then we got uh, another quest over this way. This is Moira? No, this Don't is Admiral Zai. Something Everyone here. Does. Ooh. I just collected my first hunt pass item. Collecting, or uh, hunt pass item. Collecting more Aether Sprites does something. Here's the plan. Lock, load, repeat. He would like to add some behemoth power to your repeaters. Except Slayer. Are those recruits repeaters? Perhaps I can interest you in an upgrade. Just as my countryman Wills Borman forges some melee weapons using the power of behemoths, you can hunt to do the same with firearms. Okay. Okay. Done there. The hut. So we could do repeaters or melee weapons. And then there's bounties. Okay, we got one of the ten Aether Sprouts. That's what we just collected, and I guess there's nine more just around. Uh, they sound like Mokokos, Aether Sprouts, Mokokos. Here's another one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna poke around here for a bit. So, we'll be back. Embermane. The Embermane can throw Blaze a long way and will charge at you whenever it has a chance. That's when it's most vulnerable. The Swift Relent Relentless Embermane is one of the quickest behemoths on four legs. Dr. Piriani believes that they have fasted metabol the fastest metabolism of any known behemoth with an innate genetic connection to Blaze Aether in all its forms. They are able to blast the landscape before them with fiery breath summoned from their Aetheric cores and, launched m and launch meteoric spheres of Blaze energy and deadly arcs at a very long range. And while their swift muscular forms can cover ground several meters at a time, Ember Maids needn't rely on simple physics when they can swim in the aetheric spect uh, spectrum. They will instinctively shift their bodies entirely to the blaze frequency when threatened and when simply needed uh, to move or when they simply need to move great distances. In this way, they have spread easily from island to island and become one of the most ubiquitous blaze feeders in the shattered islands. Cats hunting temps. Uh, tips rather when you're fighting this one stand your ground when it when the ember main charges it moves fast but it will come to you wait for your moment and interrupt it just before it strikes when its horn is broken the ember main leaks blaze energy dealing more fire damage if the ember main doesn't begin a charge after dashing away prepare for either a wall of rolling flame or a bombard bombardment of by fireballs of pure blaze Rolling through the fire if you can get out of the way. Or roll through the fire if you, can, if you can't get out of the way. I thought that was interesting. This is part of the journal. You get a journal entry for every boss you beat. And there's 42 total. I guess they got a mailing list. If you sign up to the mailing list, you can uh, get in-game rewards like a 
Bound Fury Sword Skin, which I guess is this here. 10 Patrol Keys and 10 Premium Bounty Tokens. I went ahead and signed up for it. So 15 minutes, I'll have the rewards from that, I guess. So in our Slayer's Path, uh, I hit the end button to get here. Uh, there's Slayer's Armor as well. I Maybe I should wait for the quest to do that. We've unlocked Hunter Crafter and then the two uh, nodes for farming resources, I guess. And uh, we currently unlocked these types of things. Oh, maybe I should go this way. Rams. We need more rams to unlock the first stage of Aetheric hon Honing for the Axe. But yeah, um, this was an option. Maybe I'll go ahead and unlock this now. There. And then we can unlock the farming places for armor. So I guess these two nodes, Restless Sands and Iron Falls, will give us the materials necessary for farming uh, armor. And then there's also basic gliders. I'm going to do that. We're traveling, probably. We need more rams before we can get the second one. So, sort through the skies across the expanse of the Shattered Islands with your new glider. Cool. And then our armor crafting, we'll just go ahead and unlock. Yeah, we need to get a ton of rams. Okay, guys, we're going to go get some rams. Uh, there's a couple more quests here, and then we'll probably start to do a mission again. This is the quest for the glider. He says... Uh, the bosun's taking up a useful new hobby. Gliders. Unlock gliders on the slayer's path. Skipper, you haven't developed a fear of heights since taking up slaying, right? Because off my off of my or because my off of the clock hobby is finally paying off. I want you to be the first one to try my new handmade, all natural, gravity powered, and human piloted glider. Okay. We got the glider. Patrol chests and keys. Use patrol keys to open patrol chests. And in the hunting grounds, patrol chests contains rams, merits, and other rewards. So the, the chests is where we're going to get the rams we need. Collect the keys from the daily login course to purchase them from the store. Oh yeah, we just did the daily login thing. That was this here. There was like a little gold coin. And I went ahead and interacted it with it rather. And it gave me a, a reward. Sprout Slayer. Okay. All right, these are for the Aetheral Spouts. Well. And then he also has the Hunt Pass, which is like the Battle Pass, I guess. You can upgrade to Elite for 950 of those, but I don't have enough Platinum. You got to buy the Platinum, and it's a 1,000 Platinum for $10. They have Styles, which is Armor Dyes, Cosmetic Kits... Oh, they got all kinds of stuff, guys.